Hello and welcome to part 8 and let's look back at Resident Evil Zero. Um, we're now in the underground section of the facility. And we've just got a few things to pick up and sort out and then more, there's a file to be read. Um, I can't remember what it's about um, but we will find out in a short while. Right, let's get rid of the ink ribbon because we ain't going to need it again. Um, just thinking about these herbs, do I take them? Well, I suppose we could actually, because uh, there's a few things coming up. I might just take the blue herb, because you never know when poison might happen. I mean, most of the time they do put herbs uh, by where there is poison, uh, the blue herbs, but it's, you know, it's sometimes better if you've got one there waiting. And the next couple of rooms not uh, are a bit just well can be a, a bit gruesome. Uh, oh, you'll you'll see shortly because um, we have to split up in a minute because there's a vent that only Rebecca can get through, um, and obviously, but it's too big to get through it. It's actually quite funny because Billy doesn't really inspect any of this area at all. I'm almost there. Well, I'm glad I could be of service. Time to go inside. I think there's a file just down here. And it was all like torture chambers and stuff. And they, they've obviously been experimenting to talk, well, killing people eventually by the look of it. Um, it's quite gruesome. And that tells you about what the, the meter thing we've got to set up now. This puzzle I do have a bit of trouble with. Um, so I might not get it first. I probably won't get it first time if I'm honest. I've just got to remember how it goes. Because each switch has got, obviously you can see, each one puts it up or down a certain amount. And you've got to get the right amount. up on this one. Oh, that's lovely if I remember correctly now you put this one up and it should hit 70 yep yeah, we've done it first time that's the first time I've ever done that puzzle first time and now there's a cutscene now we can get through there Wasting your time. I have already claimed this place for myself, which means you are trespassing, and I am very territorial. <laughs>
It just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious! I refuse to abandon my word. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Uh, oh. Right, we now have to save Rebecca, and this is very confusing because you, well, I automatically thought you had to go to the room she was just in, um, but that's not the case at all. Um, you have to go where the bo into the boiler, where the boiler room was, um, and then there's like a, there's like a load of statues like in a circle, and there's a room in there. Uh, there's a lot of monkeys around now. Um, that cutscene, there was a lot to take in there, really. I and mean, it sets up why Resident Evil 1 occurred, why what, why the Stars team were lured into the mansion. Um, well, half of them were already out there, uh, the Bravo team. Uh, the Alpha team hadn't been called out yet, I don't think. Um, uh, so that sort of explains that. I think when he's on about, uh, William Birkin was on about the self-destructing, I think he means uh, for this facility, not the mansion. Um, because that's set off by Wesker, I think. Um, I'm not too sure how that all works in Resident Evil 1. Um, uh, that'll be all revealed when I play, do my uh, look back at that. Um, but one of the things that really was so seemed so stupid in that cutscene was where the monkey dropped down on Rebecca and bit her. She'd be, would she not be infected? And they just play it off. Um, there's a memo a bit on as well that uh, is kind of a bit contradictory to some of the earlier scenes in the game as well uh, where she gets surrounded by leeches but I'll talk more about that then um, so I thought that was a bit of, that was that, that scene didn't really need to show her that monkey biting her they probably could have done better if the monkey dropped down and she jumped and then fell through the floor but then you'd be wondering why there's a well uh, when you see where she is um, yeah I'll, I'll explain more then um, you ha the only reason I went in that room is obviously for the ammo. Uh, if you go in the other door, it leads to where Rebecca fell through. That's where I originally thought she was. Um, that's not a clever idea because there's a load of monkeys in there. But I always remember, and um, you'll see a bit in a minute, uh, I always remember with the monkeys, you, you, you were, they were easy enough to take out with a pistol. Um, but that's really not the case. They're too fast. Um, and they attack in groups, so you're better off using the shotgun. It's the only well, it's the way I find it easy to deal with them. Easier to it's the only way that I find easier to deal with them. Um, I think that might go off more regularly like before she falls, but um, I've never actually let it get that far. So I went the wrong way. I think that zombie gets yet. Yeah. And actually, you bet I didn't take him out there, but you it's actually better to do it because when you come back through this way in a bit um, he can catch you off guard oh, it's just down here she should be um, it is very confusing that really I got really confused with that
Now, to get back to the cutscene, uh, when um, Wesker uh, says about Lauren and Star Team, I always got the impression um, that it was Umbrella's idea, not his. Um, but I think the first game, uh, the PlayStation 1 game, is very different from the remake. Uh, the story's completely changed. Um, that's why this was released after, because they, I think. There was something I read about, because um, I was trying to find something out about um, Edward, the Star's member that dies at the start, because I wasn't sure if he was the first member to die, and I actually was wrong on that. Uh, it's the pilot. Um, you do actually get to see that. Um, but they changed a lot of it just for that, really. Um, here's another cutscene. Rebecca! Hang on. I'll pull you up. Thank you. No mention it. Just keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? This is Rebecca. Over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. Rebecca, answer me. No, sir. I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him. Over. Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh, well. Probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was around this time last year. Our unit was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. Some died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. There was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Get rid of them! Kill them all! Please, sir! Cease fire immediately! Shut up! Ugh. Do it! Did you execute those innocent people? Forget about it. Doesn't matter anymore. That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. Isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. Uh, that's quite a really good cutscene, because it, it really... 
you know, it, it's good, but it doesn't explain everything. Um, I'll go more into detail in the next part because it's the end of this part. So thank you very much for watching, and hopefully you'll join for the next part.